In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how with one API key, you can access every single large language model, and you can even place it in automations like the one I've got here in the screen. Not only that, but you can access the newest models like DeepSeek V3 or the Nova models from Amazon and anything else that you like that just came out. And we're going to place it into automations with Make. This is great for a few different reasons. If you've been using large language models for a while, you know that some models are better at things than others. It's a little bit like using different tools for different jobs around the house. Sometimes you need a screwdriver, sometimes you need a hammer, different things. Large language models are starting to become a little bit like this. The issue is that it starts racking up quite a lot of API keys. If I want to use anything from OpenAI, I need an API key from OpenAI. If I want to use Claude, I need an API key from Anthropic. If I want to use Gemini, I need an API key from Google, so on and so forth. And if I want to use the new models, like something from DeepSeek, I need another API key. This means a lot of API keys to keep track of, a lot of payments to keep track of. And not only that, you're placing your credit card details in a lot of different platforms, which isn't really ideal. But with this one platform, we can access all these models, including models like Perplexity, which have access to the internet. This makes things extremely useful. And I'm gonna show you an automation that I use very, very often in my SEO agency. I'm gonna show you how that you can get that API key and I'm gonna show you how to build this automation, which might be useful for you, it might not. If you don't know me, my name's Nico. I run an AI powered SEO agency. More importantly, I run an online community called the AI Ranking School Community, where we simplify SEO and we help you maximize your search engine optimization with AI tools and automations, much like the ones I'm gonna show you today. And in fact, all the assets that I talk about will be in the community and some of them will be in the video description below. If you wanna check that out and if you wanna learn how to maximize your search engine optimization, helping you rank number one for your industry a lot quicker with these AI tools done correctly, I suggest you check out our community. We have a seven day grace period, a free trial where you can try it out for seven days. If you don't like it, I'll give you your money back 100% guaranteed. Anyway, let's get started right away. We're gonna need that special API key. And for that, we're using Open Router. Open Router is fantastic. It has been around for a little while, but recently, or a couple of weeks ago, they got a native integration with Make, which is the automation software we predominantly use. It's a click and drag software. It's very, very easy. So you're going to need to create an account with Open Router. I'm gonna leave a link to that below. Once you create an account, you need to add a few credits to that account, and that's very easy to do. And with $5, you'll have enough for a little while, depending on how often you use it. But there's also some free models you can use with the API, which is incredible. So to add a few credits though, we're going to go to the top right-hand corner. We're going to go to credits. You can see that I already have $8 there, more than enough for what I need to do. I'm going to, if you wanna add credits, you're going to place the amount and go purchase. You can enable top up, meaning once it reaches a certain threshold, let's say $5, it, $5, it can top up another $5, for example, but we won't do that for now. So once you have some credits in the account, the last thing you need is obviously to get the one API key, but it's kind of one key to rule them all, which makes things extremely useful. You're gonna go to keys. You can see that I've got here a bunch. You won't have any. You're going to create a key name it whatever you want. Let's name it uh, make example. And once you create it, you're gonna get this little API key here. You're gonna copy that, make sure you copy it and you save it somewhere because that's the last time you'd be able to see that key. So I'm just going to delete the key cause I don't wanna use it. And I know someone's gonna try to copy that API key but you won't be able to do now. So I've got my API key. Now let me show you how this can work. For example, I have built this automation and the bottom row is how I used to have to do this. This is an automation that helps me create a lot of localized SEO pages, for example, specifically for a real estate agency. And we do some research with perplexity and then we get each different GPT to create sections of that page, the history of that area, what to do in that area, the property types in that area and the FAQ section. I then place that all into a Google doc create a meta description and I place it into a Google Sheet. What does that look like in the other end? Let me show you here. So I have all the towns and the regions that I wanna do research here and the outputs will be in this new sheet. And previously, I would have to use uh, two, sometimes even three API keys just to use this one automation. But you can see here that I've recreated that same automation just with modules from, from Open Router, which are these ones here. 
you can see that I've made an open router connection and I can use every single model that is listed under open router. If you want to know which models are listed, we'll go back here before we get stuck into the automation. I'm going to go to open router and I can use browse. The good thing here is that they very vigilant. They get the new models pretty much right away as soon as they're released and you can use them in open router. You can even chat with it and test it out before you put it in an automation to make sure it's right for you. One of the latest models that's been making uh, a lot of waves in the AI space is DeepSeek, for example. We can try it out. We can chat with it and we can say, um, what are you? And do best, for example. And we can try the model in here before we try anything else out. A really cool thing as well is that we can even compare it to other models right away in the same conversation within Open Router. I'm going to start a new room with DeepSeek and I'm going to add another model. So in comparison, we can add the new Microsoft Microsoft Pi 4. We can also add uh, Sonnet 3.5. And let's ask them all the classic stupid test that everyone seems to do. Uh, how many R's are there in the world? Strawberry. Let's see which one gets it right. So Pi said from uh, Microsoft says there are two R's in strawberries. That's obviously incorrect. Claude said there are two R's. That's obviously incorrect. And DeepSeek got the right answer. There are three R's in the word strawberry. So now we can see that maybe DeepSeek for whatever I want to do might be best. So let's do that. Let's integrate that into an automation. So how do we start doing this whole automation here to create my localized SEO pages? Firstly, I want to show you how it works. I'm going to run this once and you can see that I've had to name them appropriately. So this is doing a perplexity search on the area that I wanted that I've asked it to do. So it's looking at uh, Valletta from Malta in the southeastern region. So it's got those two components that it knows it needs to do research on. And in a second, we'll see this thing that has been uh, filled out completely. I'm going to give it a while. I'm going to show you the end result before we start showing you how to then integrate Open Router into an automation so you can see if it's actually useful for you. If you're wondering why I've segmented each section into different GPTs or different modules is that from experience, I've learned that whenever you're trying to get a AI or a GPT to write a section in a very specific manner, it's often best to segment that task into smaller bite-sized pieces and the outcome tends to be a lot better. Obviously, this will create some very, this will ensure that there's no variation as well and it might change between models, but now we'll go to here. You can see that it's been updated. So I've got the location, the SEO title that I said, I've got the meta description, and this is the Google Doc that I've built that I've got a brief history of Valletta, what to do in Valletta. <laughs> I need to amend that a little bit, but you get the idea. I've got an FAQ section here already. I just need to amend the editing there a little bit, but that's no dramas as well. This type of automation saves me hours and hours and sometimes even days, depending on how large the automation or the pages I need to make. Uh, anyway, we'll stop it there. So how do I integrate Open Router into something like Make? It's very, very easy. Just gonna force stop that. Oop go into a new scenario. I'm going to go to open a new scenario here and I'm going to search for open router. Thankfully, that is now a native integration. I'm going to go to open router and really this looks a lot like a lot of the modules from OpenAI or Claude, uh, Sonnet. I'm going to go to create a chat completion. The first time you do that, it'll ask you to create a connection. It'll look a little bit like this. And the API key is the API key we got from Open router. If you forgot, it's this one here. We're in open router now. We're going to go to keys and it's the one that we got from here. That's the API key that you need to place in here. Once you do that, then we select the model in the model drop down here. Uh, so we've got, you know, everything from OpenAI, everything from Sonnet, uh, from Anthropic, sorry, from Gemini. The ones that we don't have from OpenAI, for example, are things like the Whisper model that I use to transcribe. For those things, you will need the original API key from OpenAI. But now I can access so many models and really interestingly, I can also access completely free models. So if I search for free, you can see that I've got a list of 100% free models, right? Let's try this out. And then uh, let's go to add a message and we'll do something silly here like uh, how many R's in strawberry again, just for sake of simplicity. 
The role works very much the same as any others. The user is the user role, the user message you send to it. And the assistant is if you want to do like a system prompt for that conversation, you can place that in there. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go user prompt um, and we're going to leave it there at okay. So now remember that is a free model. We've selected one that says Google Experimental free. The only thing with the free models, and you need to know this, is that there'll be some limits into how often you can use them, which kind of makes sense. But if it's for smaller tasks, then you could potentially do a whole workflow with completely free language models using Open Router. I'm gonna to go to OK, let's run this once and see if it works. It should be a relatively easy uh, answer to for Gemini uh, to answer. That's the latest model usage, uh, sorry, choices, collections, and then messages. And then it's giving me the answer there. Remember, this is a kind of uh, a thinking model or a reasoning model. So there's a bit of thinking here and it said to formulate the answer, uh, there are three R's in strawberry, which is correct. So you can now build these automations because I can also access perplexity, which adds this gives this another level of really useful API key. I can add models that are connected to the internet, makes it really, really good. If you want this automation, by the way, that helps you create a lot of localized SEO pages, you can always head to our online community, the school, the AI ranking school community. And these are part of the content automation stuff that we've got here. Uh, if we go to the bottom, we've got the create localized SEO pages. The JSON file is there, which you can upload right away into the into your make account. But yeah, so if you are continuously getting FOMO of the new language models and you're thinking, oh, I've got to sign up for yet another platform to try these out, you don't anymore. And you don't even need an API key, a new API key to place it into an automation like that. Really useful tool. I highly recommend that if you do automations, you get yourself an API key from Open Router because it'll be the solution to a lot of your potential problems there. I hope you like this video. Again, if you want to learn how to do more AI powered SEO automations like this, make sure you join our community or just subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you found a lot of value. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching.